Hi guys, welcome to part two of Trade Ideas and how I use the uh, the trade alerts. So I'll show you my screen and you can see it at the moment. It's um, time wise 10.49 in the morning. Uh, so these are the main alerts that I use. So as you can see, uh, my number one alert at the moment is High of Day Momo Scanner. Now I get audio alerts but you won't hear them in this video because I have the I don't have the premium version of Screenomatic uh, Screencaster, so it only allows me to record one audio stream, which is my voice. But if I had the premium version, you would be able to hear the audio alerts as they come in. So for each of these, you can set uh, a different audio alert that you like. So you can you can pick a sound, you can pick an animal sound, you can use your own voice, which is what I've done. So I've gone ahead and have recorded. Um, an audio alert. So every time I get maybe most upward momentum right now, um, it just tells me momentum, momentum, momentum. Or if I have the one minute volume surge, it tells me surge. So I know straight away. I mean, you can also use um, the default setting, which is using uh, the actual um, sound uh, or the letters of the symbol. So it'll just say, for example, here will say PTX or here will say WKHS. So depending on, on how you want to set it up, um, so I've got this scanner, this one that I use the most. I also have the one minute volume surge, which I like. This is not necessarily the high of day scanner, but it tells you which stocks have got a lot of volume literally in the last 60 seconds. Um, and, and if we go through them just in a bit more detail. So for example, for this one, I've got the time, the symbol, of course, um, the price at the time of the alert, the, the change from the close. So I've added this in because I was getting a lot of uh, positive negatives. Is that right? Um, where I was getting alerts, which I don't want for stocks that are less, uh, sorry, stocks that are down on the day. I don't trade stocks that are down on the day. So I've put this in here uh, to show me whether they're green or red on the day. So you can see that WKHS is, is red, green on the day, 31.5% at the time of this alert. Um, CELP um, is actually red on the day. So I'm going to change the formula in here so that it doesn't give me any alerts that are uh, red on the day. So uh, you have the volume of the one minute candles and you have the volume in the five minute candles. Now you can set each of these colors. Um, for example, if you would like to have a different color scheme, uh, you, you can set all different color schemes. I've left it uh, pretty much um, as, as is by default color wise. So this one minute volume search, this Hive Day Momo scanner, um, You've, all, you've seen my pre-market scanner, which I've gone through uh, in, in part one of uh, the Trade Ideas series. Um, the other ones I use, I use the most upward momentum right now. I use the 52 week high. This is actually quite good because um, it tells you as soon as the stock breaks at 52 week high. Now it usually has a little bit more momentum that, that kind of carries it through past that threshold. So it's good to know, um, and, and obviously you can set each of these alerts depending on your own settings if that makes sense so for example let's say you don't want to trade you know low float you want to trade large cap stocks from i don't know thirty dollars to a hundred dollars um you can go in here you can you can right click uh you can configure and you can say okay i would like you to show me um stocks not from one to fifteen dollars but from thirty to a hundred dollars and and it has to have volume of this much you know, the average volume has to be this much and so forth and so forth. So you, you can set that up for each of the alerts that you would like. The other one that I use is a five minute consecutive candles. So this is good for reversal. So this shows me if a stock has had a lot of candles in the one direction, it could be time for a, a reversal or it could be a sign of strength as well. So depending on how you want to use that. And I've also got the same for the one minute candle. Um, now, the other, uh, the other alert I've got here is uh, it's called Barry's Alphas. Now this is a combination of uh, alpha uh, alpha alerts. In other words, really strong stocks making big moves and, and potential to make uh, bigger moves. So this is quite good. Um, now you can't use any of these as a guarantee to get into a trade. Uh, these are simply alerts. So in other words, you still need to do your own due diligence on whether you know, the, the daily chart looks good, um, where there's enough volume, you know, whatever else it, it may be, um, you know, maybe it's reaching a, a, a crucial resistance point and you're not sure it's gonna it's going to break through it. You know, these are the things you need to do yourself, but this certainly gives you a lot more um, scope for the stocks that you trade. It gives you a really good alert. Um, 
and allows you to get in there rather than waiting for someone to call out in chat or maybe even just following someone, which is not a good idea. So in terms of uh, the different types of um, alert types, so you can have what's called um, an alert, which is here designated by letter A. Um, see this only occurs, an event occurs if an event occurs, sorry. So an audio sound goes off if an, if an event occurs. So if it meets all of your criteria, uh, let's say it has the volume of 50,000, it has to have float up to 20 million, the price has to be between two and $15, and it's, it has to have, I don't know, 100 trades today. If all of those criteria hit, you'll get an alert popping up in here. So that's one type. The other one is a top list. I don't think I have a top list at the moment. Um, I don't. But a top list is basically a top list window. So in other words, um, it it does it still uses the same criteria, but it just gives you say the top twenty. So if you want to know, you know, what are the the top twenty stocks right now surging in volume, for example, then it'll give you all of those top twenty stocks, and it'll keep updating them. Um, but the difference between an alert and a topless window is an alert won't come up if it hasn't met all of the criteria, whereas a top list just constantly revolves, um, if that makes sense. And then you can have a multi-strategy window. So this is, some, you can see that because of an M here. And if I click on, so if I click on um, on the window here, you see that these are the different strategies I have set under this one high of day moment scanner. So I've got high volume, low float, medium float, all of these different ones. Um, they are all combined into one simply to save space, pretty much. So you know, a multi-strategy window is just pretty much if you just want to have a bit of real estate on your on your monitors. Um, so that's pretty much it. In here, I have parabolic movies as well, which is blank at the moment. Just means it hasn't been anything that it hasn't met the criteria for it to be to be um, uh, to be shown as an alert. Uh, and these three charts and this one are rolling together. So in other words, if I want to quickly, you know, let's say I have an alert here, I double click on that, and it shows me the one minute candle, um, the five minute candle, and the daily. So you, you can set these all up, and this is really good. This is also very customizable, but it gives you a really good idea of um, the float, the short float, um, the growth, you know, if you want to look at options, position in a specific range, whether it's daily or 52 week. Um, you can have all of these other, other financials in here. I honestly, the only ones I use are volume today. So based on um, an average volume, you know, this is done 6.4 times the normal daily volume. I look at the short float and I look at the float and obviously how much it's done on the day. That's pretty much it. Um, you can customize it. Um, there's a lot of really, really good things you, you can do with this. But you know, at, at a snapshot, I can just double click on a stock, and I can see exactly you know a lot of information about it. Um, and if I want to see news as well, I can right click, and if I click on send PSDV two, and then you have all of these options. So if you have, if you click on web, um, I'm not sure why this is not working at the moment, but normally it works. So let's say Let's say you want to see from this source um, exactly all the information about about this symbol. So you have a number of drop down options. I normally here I normally have Finviz, uh, but for some reason it's not saving it at the moment. So that's something that uh, they'll need to uh, they'll need to fix. But very very minor thing. Apart from that, um, the other ones I use are this gap alerts repeating. So this is similar to the scan uh, the the gap scanner. Let me just bring that up. The only difference is that it just um, keeps on repeating alerts for just the top uh, gainers on the day. So the, the, the top gains scanner alert that you saw in part one, um, this just recycles just through those. So it doesn't give you any other alerts, but just, just for those high gain scanners, which is also quite useful to have. Um, and then apart from that, I also have something called an evening scanner. Um, this is just good for after hours to see anything that may be good for the following day. Um, so I've also got some options here. Um, I don't use this a lot, but this is it, this is good to have every now and then. And on the other monitors, I have um, earnings squeeze. So uh, 
this shows me anything in so it shows me any new highs or pre-market highs for for stocks between one and twelve dollars where the daily volume is at least 300 shares a day where the current volume is at least one where the price is at least 70 percent um above the low of, of the range so it's in the top 30 percent of its range um the short float is minimum of 20 percent um and also uh you need to put this in here um if you want to just make, make sure that 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 stocks come up without etfs and anything like that um, and then also where the number of alerts, um, you can set that as well. So this would show me anything that has, um, that is, you know, gapping up and is squeezing, sh squeezing shorts after, after earnings release. Um, let me just go through that again. I think I missed something. So in terms of, in terms of these, where earnings will be reported no more than 0.25 days, this basically means that show me only the stocks that have earnings after yesterday's close. Um, yeah, or or that or that will have them this morning. Uh, so it just covers the kind of 24 hour period. So you're not looking at stocks, you know, a week or two before that had earnings. So just the most recent ones. So that's also something I keep here, and then. I've got a couple other ones. Um, see it before breaking news. Don't use that a lot. This is more of a experimental, just to see um, how it works. I haven't used it a lot, to be honest, um, but it's there. And then the other last one I have is high volume um, breakouts over moving averages. So this is one as well that is um, quite good. So that's it. That they're all the alerts that I have. Um, as I said, I'm happy to to share my settings for them if you like. Um, just email me bart at daytradearcade.com. Um, I'm also going to have a 15% uh, discount subscription for anyone who would like to sign up with Trade Ideas. Um, I, I think it's a very useful tool. Um, I, I think you should definitely give, give it a shot. Um, they have trials every now and then. I think every quarter they have a trial for, I think, seven days, and it's like $8.88. Um, and it gives you access to all their premium subscription services. They also have an artificial intelligence service called Holly, um, which pretty much just predicts uh, and trades on her own. Uh, she only day trades, so she closes positions at the end of each day. But based on you know some algorithms, algorithms that they've created, their trade ideas, she, she uh, gets into a trade, she holds onto it for as long as she sees fit, and then and then she exit, uh, exits as, at a specific time frame, depending on whether she wants to save profit. Um, because um, you, you set a duration, say so, so you've entered a trade, or she enters a trade and says, I'm going to be here for 60 minutes, no more. Uh, and if it reaches that 60 minute mark, then she'll get out as well. So there's a number of combinations. Um, trade ideas is also great because it allows you to work with something called um, odds maker, and you can also back test things. So for example, you can, you can choose this high of day Momo scanner, and you can go back 60 days, 60 trading days into the past, and you can actually test to see how well this works. So you can set different prices, you can see what days of the week it works better, what different time frames during the day this works better. And I find that really useful. Um, for example, I ran that on, on this one, on the alphas. And before running it, I wasn't aware of this, but after running it and seeing the results, I know that now that these work better in the afternoon than they do in the morning. Um, so there's all these little bits and pieces that you can actually, you know, try out for yourself and, 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 and tailor to your own kind of needs. But, um, that in a nutshell is how I use trade ideas. Um, if you guys have any questions, please, uh, drop me an email or write a comment, subscribe to my channel. If you like, I will be continuing, uh, to do these videos as well. If, if you'd like any beginner videos, anything from, you know, how level two is and how to use level two and actually live examples of how I use level two, or if there's anything else you'd like me to, to, to review, let me know. Um, I am a full-time day trader. Um, I've only started recently, so I still have a lot to learn, but I'm happy to share with everybody what I've, what I've known so far, what I've done, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely a journey. It's not something that, uh, you can learn in a week, in a month, or even probably a year. I mean, I've been studying for about two years and last year was full time. And, you know, there, there's a lot to take in and, and, and yes, the theory is great, but it's more about practice. It's more about using fun of your screens and getting to know, reading the price action, um, reading the tape as I, as I used to call it, um, you know, understanding level two, you know, seeing hidden sellers, hidden buyers. There's a lot of things that, that go into it. Um, 
Some people use a lot of indicators, others don't use any indicators at all. Um, you have to 